Thank you for joining me on my travel adventures. If you like it, hit subscribe and the like button. hotel room is nicely appointed. We got our bed here, little desk. We can put those cases under the bed in a minute. And I'm in addition to being air conditioned in the rooms, members get a free wine and cheese every evening. A 10 minute walk away from Z Hotel Victoria is Buckingham Palace. Definitely worth a walk after being on an airplane for an extended period of time. We then walk back towards Victoria Station to find something to eat and check out some more beautiful landmarks before we started to get ready for our theater show in the evening. We thought of an interesting way to stay awake and try to deal with jet lag, and that was to book a theater show. We attended and thoroughly enjoyed it. This may not be for everyone. You'll have to decide for your own body. We enjoyed a nice evening at the theater watching Hamilton. With a good night's sleep on board, we decided to walk around some sites that we hadn't seen before and check out some favorites from past visits. Guards Museum did not open until 10, so this will be on our to-do list for another visit. On the mall, right across from the spot where we stayed for both the Queen's funeral and down there for the coronation. And we're gonna head down towards the Falgar Square and check out just love checking out the various monuments as well as the blue plaques indicating where historical people lived throughout the city. It's London so fun to walk around. Martin's in the field, Church of the Monarch. And at the top of this is Admiral Mill. Walking along the strand towards the Savoy and ultimately Covent Garden. Little side alleys off the strand, you come to a beautiful little home tucked away. And we walk back out to the busyness of the street. Walking around London, it's so easy to find these little hidden gems off the main streets that you can see beautiful pubs, flowers, homes, and little courtyards. Starting from the Savoy, we're going to be walking up to Covent Garden shortly, up through this area here. Beginning our exploration of Covent Gardens as it opens up in the morning. The market has lots of lovely food and little stalls with crafts in it. I believe the actual name was associated to the convent 
and was converted to Covent over time. Swiss chocolate and Covent Gardens. Easy to enjoy a, a crawl with all these beautiful old buildings. Just above Covenant Gardens is the more of the theater district and this uh, interesting crossroads where all the streets converge. This is a beautiful park close to St. Paul's. I believe it's called Lincoln in the Fields. It's been used since 1367 or thereabouts for jousting. And about the 17, 1800 mark, they fenced it in. The park is also of note because it was where the Canadians were stationed in, World, in the Second World War. And it is also the site where when the Zeppelins came in World War I, they bombed some of the buildings in this area. There's a bunch of maple trees in the park to commemorate the Canadian presence during World War II. And there's the Royal College of Surgeons. St. Bartholomew's. For the Americans, this has historical roots to the famed Benjamin Franklin, who worshipped and learned his trade at this particular church. It's one of the older streets in London. It has one of the oldest inhabited houses in all of London that we're heading towards. And this church, St. Bartholomew's, is where Benjamin Franklin actually attended. One of the oldest inhabited buildings and you can see that they've got some etchings in the windows from people that actually stayed at this location. All slew of famous people came to stay and visit here. And this was an old Elizabethan house. Right across from the oldest inhabited building it is a place where Sir John Bellman stayed. It's a Point Murray. Outside of St. Bartholomew's Hospital is a plaque to Scotsman William Wallace, who fought against St. We are looking at a fountain in the courtyard of St. Bartholomew's Hospital. And it was on this site that William Wallace 
was executed. Love exploring along these back streets. This is off of Fleet Street.